Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This week's gonna be a little bit different and a few of my videos that are follow this are gonna be a part of a series of how to launch an app. So I'm gonna take you guys through one of the apps that I've actually launched and I'm now gonna relaunch it. So I figured since I'm going through the process, it's something that I didn't know about before doing. I didn't know all of the steps that it took to go from like idea to app store. So that's what we'll take you through today. I broke it up into four big parts. It might not be four videos, it might be more, but the steps for me are ideation, which is coming up with the idea and then design and then develop. And then it's, you know, actually launching it. So yeah, that's what I'll take you guys through. Um, it might be a little weird because I recorded me working on it one day and then I'm doing this another day. So whatever. The app today is called Intently. So it's in the app store now and it came about because of an idea, a, a personal need that I like to keep in touch with people. I like checking in on my friends and I just like remembering the last time we hung out and what we talked about. Um, yeah, it's just something that I like doing. But it's hard for me to sometimes remember with everything that goes on in the world, you know, just work and everything. So I created an app where I could just add a person, add a frequency, like say a week, two weeks, whatever. And then it will remind me to check in with that person. And then also I can log these interactions. So I can know like, okay, maybe I've talked to my mom frequently, but when's the last time I actually hung out with her? You know, so that's the idea. Um, it's already live. It's been live for like a year now, um, but I haven't really pushed any updates. So that's kind of what I want to do now. I want to, you know, just show it some love. So yeah, I'll take you guys through that. Cool. So before we jump in, I'll show you kind of what the app currently does. There's a, there's a home screen where you can see all of the existing people, what groups they're in, and then also see, uh, you know, when's the next time you need to check in with them. Then you can click on a person. And from there you can see, you know, what group, what frequency, and you can add an interaction is what I just call them. And, or you can edit interactions, but it's nice to, to put a little note. Personally, I like seeing the note just so I can remember what we talked about or what we did. That way, next time we talk, you know, I can say, oh crap, this person got a new job. Let me ask them how it's going. Um, because it's really hard to remember all the details of all of your loved ones and friends and people you meet. So that's kind of what it's for. So this is where you can view the person and edit all their details. But then it's very bare bones and just what you need. So you can go and you can put people into these groups, you know, just for organization. And you can add people in multiple ways from contacts or from just manual, like just typing in all the information. Cool. So that's currently the app. So the first step for me is done, the ideation piece. I've already thought of the features that I needed and that was easy because the app was already built. Since I wanna rebuild it though, I did think of some new features I wanna add in there. One of them is a dashboard. Um, I also want a section to put important dates where I can keep track of my friend's anniversaries and different things. And I know you can put them in a calendar, but if it's on my one dashboard, before I check in with that person, I can see, oh, this week's their birthday or their anniversary. So it just helps go along with the whole, you know, intentional relationship building. So the step that we're gonna work through today is the design. So I do UI UX design for my side projects typically. Um, I'm not the best at it and I struggle and that sometimes takes me a while, but Today, I am working through designing the dashboard and the new person view, as well as I'm hoping to get through when you add an interaction. I wanna add one little piece to the adding an interaction. I wanna add a little toggle to see who reached out first. You know, did they reach out to me or did I reach out to them? So now I'm gonna break out into a little design session gonna try to knock those pieces out. The design process for me starts very low fidelity, just drawing some shapes, trying to get the ideas out. 
um, it's very ugly, you know, and then I take it to Figma, which is what I use now, and I'll design it out to be high fidelity and how I actually want it to look. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to get through right now. So I'm just gonna put my head down and focus for a bit. Cool. So I was able to get through the, the, most of the design today, which works out. Not every screen is designed, um, but we're, I'm going to reuse some of it. I, I wanted to redesign the dashboard and I wanted to figure out a way to combine the groups and the people page because currently there's no real reason to have both of those. Like you have to, in the current flow, you have to add a person and then go to the groups to add them to a group. So I wanted to see if I could put them together. So that's why I have this now, this new page where we show the, the actual, just all the people. And then you could just add these little filters to select which groups they're in. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it works whenever I use it. But I feel like this makes it much simpler. It's taking the app from like multiple pages, the hamburger to just two little tabs. Um, it's a simple app. The, the key feature is, is a push notifications that helps remind you to, you know, check back in. Um, one of the things we want to do when we're building it is allow you to ha turn off push notifications for some people. Um, currently, it's either all or nothing. And I want to track everyone, but I don't necessarily want notifications for everyone. You know, I don't like push notifications typically. So, yeah. So that was kind of the first step. Um, just getting through the design. Um, I feel good about it. This week, I hope to start developing it. I'm gonna start with authentication. I'm gonna build this out in Flutter. So that's another step is picking your tech stack. 
I'm gonna build this out in Flutter with Firebase as the back end and authentication. I like Flutter and Firebase, they work for me. I built like so many apps now using Flutter and Firebase. So it just makes the most sense. Plus, since this is rebuilding an app, it's already built on with Firebase as a backend. So it just makes sense. It'll be faster. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super quick video, very short. Follow along. I'll be putting out more videos in this series. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe and follow along.